Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement. And we're discussing about the static performance characteristics of measuring systems. So, so far we have discussed various uh, static characteristics uh, starting from accuracy, error, then um, precision, sensitivity, repeatability, reproducibility, then uh, linearity, drift, all those things. And in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, performance characteristic which affects the input-output relationship of a measuring system or an instrument which is called as hysteresis. Okay. So hysteresis like any other static characteristic, this phenomena, it uh, almost remains constant with respect to time or it, 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 uh, it changes very slowly, so slowly that uh, it is very hard to notice any you know, change in it. And uh, what this phenomena actually is, is that when we provide some input to a measuring system, okay, we have a measuring system, okay, a device or an instrument, a sensor, whatever it is, we provide some input, we get an output. We have discussed other performance characteristics associated with measuring systems such as sensitivity, we have discussed about range of instrument, span, input range, output range, input span, output span, everything. So within those operating ranges from, from a lower limit to a higher limit. Then output from a lower limit to a higher limit or a minimum to a maximum limit. So within this input range, when we increase the values from the lower limit to the higher limit and we note down the output values corresponding to those uh, input values, first we increase it from lower to higher, then again we decrease it from higher to lower. The phenomena is that the trajectory taken by the output when the input is increased, it does not follow the same path, okay? It does not follow the same path when the input is decreased. In the decreasing, when it is decreased, in the decreasing side, the trajectory, the output, the output values, they do not coincide, they do not follow the same path. And this phenomena, while increasing, in the increasing order, the increasing order of the input values, we get a different output. In the decreasing order of input values, we get a different output. This difference between the output values, depending on the order of increasing or decreasing input, this phenomena is called as hysteresis, okay? And this phenomena can affect any system, physical, chemical, mechanical, electrical. We are discussing about electrical and electronic measurement, so we'll stick to that. So as I said, this phenomena, it results in the system showing different outputs during loading and unloading. So loading is uh, the term which is used when the input is increased Okay, this is loading this uh, thing and when the input is decreased, it is called as unloading. Okay, so if we want to see uh, what happens is, let us say this input output relationship for a measuring system. During the period when input is increased, okay, this relationship curve, this one. Okay, when input is increased from a lower limit to a higher limit, the input is increased. 
the system or the measuring system it follows this path followed by this arrowhead this one but when it is decreased okay the input is decreased it is not taking the same path it is following a different path okay so this is loading during loading this is during unloading so this phenomena the difference in the output values at the same input values depending on the direction of uh, increasing or decreasing order of the input values this is called as hysteresis so this is for input and output taken on the positive side only and when we consider uh, the negative sides also in the negative direction in systems where the, in the negative direction also the input and output are considered it will be like this during loading this will take this path first initially then it will follow a cycle like this okay like this first it will start from here then it will follow this path then it will follow this path it will never come back to this path like this so this phenomena is called as hysteresis so why this happens it is because of the simple reason that there is no perfectly reversible process in this whole world there is no process in this world that is completely and perfectly reversible it is because of the simple reason that when we provide some input to this uh, system we are providing some energy to it okay energy is being provided so depending on the operation of the system the device some energy will be lost and at the output side when during the unloading process when we decrease the input values the energy which is initially provided is not completely recovered okay so that's why there is fluctuation in the output values depending on the direction of input increase or decrease whether input is being increased from a lower value to a higher value or it is decreased from a higher value to a lower value so during loading the loading process we have a set of output values and then during the unloading process at the same input values we get corresponding to the same input values we have different output values okay so that is the main cause of hysteresis it is the natural resistance okay offered by the system the material or any component involved in the measuring system to return to its original state after it is exposed to any uh, permanent physical change or any kind of change physical chemical electrical uh, mechanical whatever change it is ex uh, you know it experiences it cannot return back to its original state okay so it can be uh, experiencing any increase or decrease in physical parameters such as temperature pressure or other chemical parameters uh, when we are discussing about chemical systems or optical parameters or uh, any other uh, electrical phenomena voltage current anything like that okay magnetic field electrical field anything like that so depending on the main uh, parameter which is under uh, study after it is exposed to that it can never return to its original state some energy will always be lost and that will never be recovered so this is the reason why during the initial operation when the input is increased during the loading process we have a particular set of output values and when the input is decreased from that point we get a different set of output values which do not match the original path okay so this is the whole process or this whole phenomena of hysteresis okay so there are various reasons why hysteresis can occur okay uh, and uh, mainly when we are discussing about uh, electrical electromechanical systems it can be because of mechanical friction stray electrical and magnetic fields thermal and magnetic effects so there are a lot of other reasons because of which this phenomena is observed okay so in simple words we can understand hysteresis as the difference in the path taken by the 
input output relationship curve during the loading and unloading process loading means input is gradually increased from a lower value to a higher higher value within the operating range of the system unloading means decreasing the input from the higher value to the lower value okay so this is the whole phenomena of hysteresis so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much